So I've been getting really close to another PB. Like I just, I save time and then I lose time and then I save time and then I lose time. I guess that's pretty normal, but I feel like if I just get the right run, I could save another 20 seconds pretty easily. kind of fun because as long as I keep it in my head I can get it almost every time. giving oh, my PBI died on that level right at the beginning it was dumb just goes to show my death cost me 16 seconds because even though I didn't play that level very fast it's still lost time There. I don't even know. I did though. <laughs> it's a mystery. It's a mystery. So we're not doing so well on our conservation of life on this time. Which means the death is probably incoming. Okay, now it's troll bat time. My arch nemesis, troll bat. I hate him so much. Oh, I got him right away. That was lucky. See, it's all like timing, like however fast you do that first part, then the bat will be at different heights, so it's not like you can do it the same way every time unless you do the rest of the level exactly the same way. Alright, I think I take a slightly slower fight here for more life. 
I saved time somehow. Oh, because my I messed up the first part of that really bad in my PB. See, so much time save that's just readily available. Okay, I'm not gonna take any intentional damage here just because. Ow! Oh, I guess I saved it. Ow! What am I doing? I don't even know. because I didn't die. I only lost 1.6 seconds. If I would have died, I would have lost over, well over 20 seconds by the end of that thing. This is level is almost like a chill level by this point, because it's like you don't have to worry about losing any life. Oh, that was really good. That was like the best I've ever done, that portion. No slowdown at all. That's the only point in the level where I really ever slow a little bit. Because these parts, you just jump. I guess I did slow down a tiny bit there. Normally, it's not an issue. I should really move that so that my text messages don't go on top of my split. Go away. Go away. Thank you. Alright, it was super important that I made the jump. Because I needed that life badly. In the other place, there's only two life and it's hard to get both. Oh my gosh. Messages. Leave me alone. Oh gosh, come on. For some reason, this jump is hard for me. I don't know why. There's no reason it should be. As long as I don't get hit by that guy twice, but I did. Oh, I'm not in too bad of shame. Got it. Nice. Oh gosh, I almost made it and then I fell at the end. So close. That just means no fast strats for me next level, but that's okay. Cut me close. Cut me close. I should almost have set up really bad. <laughs> I don't know why 
I have so much trouble with this part. Like, it's not, it shouldn't really be that hard. I think it's just hard to stop in the right spot and try to push as much as you can in between. That. I'm really tempted to get this life, but I'm not going to. I'll probably regret it. I'll just play this safe. What did I just say? Now oh, this is all messed up. Well, no, no death run. That's alright. I can't make it under there. Not possible. Alright, I lost. All these like little mistakes that just add up to a death eventually. Like you just can't avoid it for forever. And, oh, that wasn't very tight timing. That was enough. Seeds are getting easier. I have to say that's one thing that I struggled with a lot. That I still could get hurt, but <laughs> hey, crazy dude. Yeah, I don't know where my pug is. Probably barking at something inconsequential, as usual. Nice to see you again. Alright. Drowning Mickey strats. Ah, oh, nope, didn't get it. Yeah, I don't know if I can say, like, world record attempts yet, although I am within a minute. Like, I'd like to say that, but I don't know if I should, like, wait until I'm actually within 30 seconds. Because I'm not sure that I could actually get it at this point. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm being too... Like... Modest about what I should name things, but... I just feel like... It'd be hard for me to cut a minute off at this point because I'm still dying too much. If I could get it run without dying, then that'd be great. Um, there, there is like just a couple mistakes. It's it's super close, but the reason that I feel like I have a really good chance is because he doesn't use any level warps, so that probably saves about 40 seconds. So I don't have to be as perfect as he does. I just have to be within 40 seconds of perfect. <laughs> So that's the reason I feel like I have a really good chance, because it's just, um, it's not actually, I don't have to be as perfect as he is. So if I was, I would save like 40 seconds on this run, which would be nice. It would be nice to blow it out of the water at that, by that much. <laughs> And I'm getting better, like, everything's closer every time, like... like just some of these strats are getting... Oh, I should've got the life there. They're getting better and getting closer, but... Still, like, just little mistakes here and there cost me time. This is becoming like pretty much the easiest level, but I still got hurt on it, like, so it just goes to show. Does he still run the game or is he retired? Um, I'm guessing he's retired because he set the world record back in 2007, which was almost seven, well, which was seven years ago. <laughs> so, I, I looked on Twitch and there really isn't anyone running this game. Um, like the only search, I searched for Mickey Mania and I was the only one that came up, so... <laughs> Um, you know, and there's people on YouTube, but they all are pretty much just doing Let's Plays, like it's not, it's not speedruns. Oh, come on, come on platforms. Please, just once. Uh -oh. 
Alright, that wasn't too bad because I only fell off the first one. Oh, I moved. Come on. Oh, I hit him twice. Come on! like little tricks that I'm picking up like if you walk down those stairs and just hold jump then you'll jump and get the life every time so it's interesting how some things are actually easier than you expect them to be after you get the world record what game will you play then that is a good question um, I've got a couple games kind of in mind um, a lot of people I really like run Super Mario Sunshine, which I would love to do, but I'm kind of intimidated by it. But it's funny, because another one of my games that I'd like to run would be um, Banjo-Kazooie, which I think is probably <laughs> harder to learn. But I kind of like the idea that not a lot of people play Banjo-Kazooie, at least, I don't know, like I don't see a lot of people playing Banjo-Kazooie. So, it's something that I would like to start running, although... I don't know, like, once I get the world record on this, then I feel better about playing a game that I probably have no chance getting the world record on, if that makes any sense, just because, I don't know, like, I'd like to get a world record, and once I've done it, then it's not as much pressure to do it on the next game, like, as long as I get a good time and have fun running it, then that'll be enough. But yeah, I mean, I've got lots of games that I would like to run. Like, I someone suggested that I run Super Mario World, which um, would be really fun and short if I did any present, which is kind of attractive. But um, it's also very um, what's it called when it's like so many people run it that it's optimized. Oh, I can't get through that part without dying. I probably just need to have a little bit more patience. Don't fall in the fire, whatever you do. Okay, um, yeah, it's so optimized that it's just, like, getting even close to the best run would just take a lot of work, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, but... I don't know, running obscure games is kind of... seems very attractive, but... I don't know. It just depends on what I think is going to be fun, I guess, and that I'm going to keep up with is... If I get too frustrated or don't have fun playing the game, then I won't keep doing it. Banjo, Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts? I guess. Don't speak of that game. I, I could run Nuts and Bolts. I've never played that game, but I'd have to, like... First I'd have to... Oh, I went the wrong way! See, new way to go, but I almost died. Um... <laughs> Yeah, first I'd have to find out which console it's on, because I've heard of it, but I don't even know, like, <laughs> what console it's on. Which shows you how much I know about Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, pretty much nothing. Um, and then, um, then I'd have to buy it. See, the nice thing about all the games I mentioned is I already own them. So, I'm not, I'm like trying to not put any more, like, too much money into streaming since it's just a hobby um so and i did already like buy a used nintendo 64 which wasn't too expensive but it's like well i'm already spending like more than i had originally intended on spending so it'd be nice if i could run a game that i already owned so i didn't have to spend any more money but uh, believe me i'm tempted like i just want to like go out and buy like another copy of Ocarina of Time because I like used to have a copy of that and now I don't anymore and it kind of bugs me. Xbox 360. Oh, why did I do that? Come on. Get back into it. Um, it's on Xbox 360. Yeah, so that, unfortunately that kind of <laughs> X's that game because I don't own an Xbox 360 either and I don't plan on owning one probably. So, yeah. 
I do have a PlayStation 3, but I don't have an HDMI capture card, which is another reason not to run anything on Xbox 360. <laughs> or PlayStation 3. I mean, I don't really know that I have any games that I'd want to run on PlayStation 3. I'm sure there's some good ones, but none that I own. You know, Little Big Planet, maybe? Be fun. Some people run that. Okay, so like this fight is always the same exact time because there's nothing you can do to make it faster and it will go slower if you miss switches, but it's always the same time. But there are like these stars that are coming down that are very difficult to dodge in the second portion of the fight, so I could still die. So it's like not a guaranteed PB. But if I don't die, then it is a guaranteed PB. So we're gonna try really hard not to die. So I'm probably not going to talk very much during the second part of the fight because I'll need to concentrate on not dying. Yeah, I mean, there's something you said to still run a game even though, you know, probably won't get even a better PB or a better world record. Oh, see, I wasn't concentrating and then I messed this up. Come on. That was almost really bad. I still lost a life because of it, but at least I didn't lose a cycle. I'm like distracting myself by looking at chat. boxes are ridiculous. Like that star went right through me, but I didn't hit. It doesn't make any sense at all. There we go. It's a PB. This is my PB dance. This is my PB dance. Look, everybody, it's my PB dance. <laughs> oh, that's good. Another 15 seconds. Shaved off. So that's a 22.37, and I have to get below a 21.54. So I'm getting really close. That was still with two deaths. So that's, yeah. But there's still tons of room for improvement, so that makes me feel good because... Now I am 15 seconds closer, so that means I'm within 45 seconds. I still had two deaths. I still didn't get early cycle on the second level. And so, yeah, there's just, there's tons of places to save time just everywhere. So I'm, yeah, I'm super excited um, that I'm getting these PBs so quickly, too. So, um... Yeah, let's see what time it is. I don't think I have time for another one. I gotta leave at 12.30 and it's 12 o'clock. But, uh, yeah, Crazy Jude, thanks so much for watching. Yeah, I think if I cut out the deaths, I could definitely get sub-21. It's That first death especially cost me 13 seconds and then the second one cost me another at least seven. Um, so... Yeah, and then if I get early cycle, that saves me another 10 seconds. So, yeah, there's just... And then I didn't, like, I messed up a little bit on the ghost level, on the haunted house level, and then I didn't have enough life, so I couldn't do the fast cycle on the haunted... Yeah, so it's just, like, I could go on and on. Am I streaming later? Yeah, I'm planning on it. Um, I don't know if you're in the U.S., Crazy Jude, or not, but um, I probably, if I'm back early enough tonight, I'll definitely do an another attempt or two. I wish I could do two now, but I just, I don't have the time. I gotta go get ready to go. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. It's, it's, uh,